This is Mark Bachman from the Fly Fishing Shop in Walters, Oregon. I want to talk about spay reels. You know, on the average, most everybody thinks that everything that's the newest technology is always the best. But I want to talk to you about a design that principally is 123 years old and is still as good a reel as anything out there. It's called the Hardy Perfect. The Hardy Perfect was uh, first went into production in 1891. 1891, that's 123 years ago, and it's still a great reel today. This is uh, one of their newer versions. It's called the Hardy Talpo. It's named after a lake in New Zealand. It's a big reel. It's three and seven eighths inches in diameter. It's an inch wide. And it's a perfect reel for spay rods from you know, 12 to 13 feet long that do six, seven, seven, eight lines. It's a great reel as you'll see in the ensuing video. Hope you enjoy the program. Thanks for watching. And that's why guys like clicker reels right there. The, 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 the screaming reel deal. Yeah, the reel, the talking reel deal. Yeah. Now, is that a topo reel? Yeah. 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 Absolutely love it. It just makes me feel good. <laughs> yeah, they are solid. It's very solid. Now, even though the Hardy Reel design is 123 years old, don't think that it isn't modern. This reel here is, is uh, made out of high tensile strength aircraft aluminum that's deeply anodized and toughened up. You know, it's smooth, it's beautiful. You know, it has the sound you know, of authority in every way. You know, it's, it's as smooth as any kind of reel that you can buy, even though the design is 123 years old. To disassemble this reel, you undo this screw with a coin. This screw turns backwards. It's a left-hand thread. So take it apart. You just unscrew it with your coin. There's knurling, knurling on the edges of the screw, so it's easy to get a hold of and turn by hand. Now this. This metal in this is a little bit soft, so be careful with it. This is, this is nickel silver, which is, in fact, still the best material to make that screw out of whole thing together. Unscrew the back plate. 123-year-old design, has ball bearings, a lot of bronze inside of this reel. Bronze is tough and nearly self-lubricating, you know, so it needs just a little bit of grease to help it function a little bit better. To reassemble the reel, drop the spool back on the axle. Insert the drawbar through the uh, ball bearing cage and screw it on. It'll automatically engage the pawls to the, uh, to the gear. Flip it over. Now remember, this is a backwards thread, so you have to turn this screw backwards to engage it. Easily done. This reel is made to last for generations. In some cases, there are examples of this reel design that were made in prior to the turn of the century. And I'm not talking of this last century, I'm talking prior to, prior to uh, 1900 that have already served several generations. Uh, this reel is a kind of kind of fishing tackle that uh, your heirs will, you know, want to inherit. Your grandchildren will want to inherit. Your great grandchildren, your great great grandchildren. This reel is made the last hundreds or maybe even thousands of years. Uh, this is a very very good investment for fishing tackle. 